Hey guys and welcome to another tutorial. Adi Reza here and in this one we are going to talk about how we can add things to our characters. Here I have an enemy AI and I want to add this mask, this gun and this flashlight to the blueprint. How it works is that when he sees the third person character he will chase the player and when he gets close enough he will kill him. Here we want to add these three elements to make him look cooler and also note that you can do the same process for every character in the game including your first or third person character. So let's jump right in and get started. This is my character blueprint so I'm gonna open it up, go to the viewport and here in the components tab I'm gonna add a static mesh. Then I'm gonna assign the mask to it and now you can see I have the object in my blueprint. You can scale, move and rotate it and place it wherever you want but the thing here is that it's not connected to the animations of the character so it stays in its place and looks like this when you play the game. In order to connect it to the animation, first you should make it a child for the mesh component and then here in the sockets you can select the bone. Let's choose the head bone and now you can see that it's connected to the animation and it's moving along with it. Now you can place it properly and you're good to go but it's not the best way to do the job yet. When the guy is moving it's so difficult to place the assets properly and it will get on your nerves. Also there are some other downsides to it so let's remove the bone and do the job correctly. Here let's open up the skeletal mesh and what we want to do here is to add a socket in places that we want to add objects to. Let's start with the head and by right clicking and hitting add you can make a socket. Here it is and now we can see how the mask will look when it's attached to its socket. Here let's right click on the socket and select add preview asset. Then choose the mask and now you can see it in the viewport. Move, scale and rotate it to place it properly and now we are ready to go. Remember that it's a preview and it won't be visible on the character. So we should go back to the blueprint and connect the static mesh we made to this head socket instead of the head bone. In the preview section we messed with these settings so let's put them back on zero. Make sure the static mesh is a child to the character and now here when I choose the socket I made it will go to the exact place we defined with the socket. We can do the same thing with the gun and the flashlight. Go back to the skeletal mesh, add the socket to his hand and then add the gun as preview asset. I also did the same thing for his left hand and other than the static mesh asset I added the spotlight and as you can see everything is placed perfectly. By the way if you're interested about this project which is a remake of a game called Insight I have made a couple of videos about the different parts of the project which you can watch on my channel. Thank you guys for watching and if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a comment and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next one.